Hey, it's Adam with the Productivity Academy, and I was actually just writing up a new ep- or new episode, a new newsletter, and I was talking about a daily routine process. Now, I've already got this article on the website. You can find it at productivity.academy slash daily dash routine. Uh, but what I was talking about was updating uh, and keeping your routine flexible, right? It's a routine. It feels good. I know I like being, you know, when you're away from your routine, you get back into it. But we also want to keep the routine kind of flexible, right? It, it shouldn't just be done because it's routine. Everything in there should have a purpose, uh, should be providing you the results you want, whether that's things like reflection. Uh, maybe it's uh, writing down your plan for the day. It's reviewing your calendar so that you don't miss meetings, whatever it is. Uh, but then also we need to be able to take things out, right? Maybe you had something uh, where you were doing some form of outreach and that no longer really applies um, or you know, just anything, having a plan in place to say, hey, I'm going to try this for something like 30 days uh, can be important. But what I originally got onto this track about was because I have recently added something to my daily routine and I wanted to share it. Uh, I'm using a tool called Anki, uh, probably mispronouncing that. I've, I've only ever seen this in writing the term, uh, probably Anki. Uh, maybe I'll have to look this up now or let me know in the comments if this is really bugging you that I can't <laughs> pronounce it right. Uh, but this was a really cool tool. I came across this. Uh, I forget who told me. I think it was somebody on the Rebuys uh, team and went and checked this out because I was like, man, I do that, right? I'm reading my Kindle and, you know, you grab your Kindle and you press on the word. If you're not sure what it is, pops up, you get that cool little, you know, uh, pop up and tells you what the word is. That's great right then and there, but that's not the way we learn, right? The kind of repetition or spaced repetition idea being down the road. You probably need to see that again to really learn. As somebody who reads a lot and writes, I enjoy increasing my vocabulary or at least being aware of the words or having an idea about them, but I just hadn't even thought about this as part of the daily routine. So what I did was combine this tool and Kindle Mate, which I'll show in a minute, and then into my daily routine, I just review two to five words, right? It takes just a few minutes, uh, and it's really handy to go in, just do that really quickly, and I can also sync this back to the Kindle. Um, so when Kindle mate, I go through, I add definitions to it. Maybe I delete things. Cause like I kind of fat fingered something and like something dumb, like T H E the word, the, I highlighted that and it thinks I'm looking up the meaning. Well, I don't need to see that in my flashcards. Right. So you can actually delete that, uh, and sync that back to your Kindle. Really cool. So the first step is to get Kindle mate. So it's kmate.me. Uh, and then you come in and it's not, and I'm sure there's more capabilities, but it was really simple for me. I installed it. I plugged in my Kindle. And then from the menu, you can just say, hey, do you want to sync from the uh, attached Kindle? Like, yep. Okay. Did that. Uh, and then went in and just needed to uh, go in. And you can see a little bit here. You can see Kindle clippings and then vocabulary words. And all I did was right click on vocabulary words. And you can say get definitions for those because it didn't come with them. Uh, and you can choose from a couple of different sources. You do that, it pulls in the one it has, and then you can export this, right? So you can export and then import into Anki, uh, which is really cool. Uh, just make sure that you're doing it in the right met- in the right format. It tells you what it needs to be. I don't recall exactly what it was. Uh, and then you import it in here, and then you just play around with the settings. Like how many words do you want to review a day? What's the max? Things like that. I just set it up fairly simply. And then I just set a reminder, right? Because this cir- full circle here, back to the daily routine, In my daily routine, I have it written down and I just added a line in there. Open up Anki, review uh, keywords or review words. And I included a link to, I believe it's, uh, maybe it's dictionary.com. I don't have it in front of me to get the sound, right? That part is interesting to me, the pronunciation. So if I, you know, don't know the word and I need to see uh, the definition, then I'll also copy it and put it in, uh, in the browser so I can hear the word. Uh, make sure that I'm pronouncing it correctly. So I think combining this is a great way to expand your vocabulary if you're already reading on your Kindle, um, or you could add this stuff manually and create your own flashcards. But this way for me was great. I've got hundreds of words I've looked up over the years on my Kindle. can put them in there and just do a quick review, expand my vocabulary. It's kind of fun. It's really quick. Uh, so highly recommend that if you know this is something you would like to do. It was pretty easy to set up. It took me probably 30 minutes like tinkering around figuring out exactly how I wanted to do it, you know, how many uh, words I wanted, things like that. But other than that, pretty simple. And then once a week, what I do is, uh, since I'm using Readwise and I send in uh, my uh, Kindle highlights uh, for things, because not everything is directly from the Kindle store, 
Um, like if I'm uploading a PDF or bad example on the Kindle, but if, uh, occasionally I'll upload uh, text documents, things like that, then I need to manually sync that back. So all I do then is while it's plugged in, I just go ahead and do the sync uh, using Kindle Mate and update any of that and uh, go from there. So a uh, weekly update, kind of manual, and then daily, I just open up uh, this program right here and do my review. So if you got any questions about this or need more details, let me know.